Good evening, everybody. I'm Matt Weiss, the voice of the Pittsburgh Thunderbirds. Thanks for joining me live and online at AUDL.TV at Highmark Stadium in beautiful downtown Pittsburgh, right here in Station Square for the season opener of this 2023 AUDL Thunderbird season against the visiting Madison Radicals. They say by Sam there forcing the offensive player to try to go up for the disc at a place oh, where he didn't go. want to. Here we go, Dave. Breaking deep. It looks like it is Charlie Vukovic. Vukovic pulls it down and sends it across the field. It'll be an easy goal. Great break for the Thunderbirds there. Get Sends it over to Goldenberg. Goldenberg laces one right up to DiLorenzo. He's got a deep target in the form of Nelson. Nelson has company with McGilski in the corn fed world. Hits it and makes sure on the back line. And in his final season with the Thunderbirds, he'll be moving out. Steve Morgilski. At the top like that, and the, like the one to Toll getting around it. I mean, with zones, you usually go over, around, or through. You know, with most offenses, especially zone, movement is key. Moving the disc across the field and moving it faster than the defense can move. And uh, right now, Clint McSherry moving it right through to Max Shepard, and then he's got an easy shot uh, to his uh, his captain, Jimmy Tall. Mason's one up to Shuey. Shuey looking at Luo. Waits till he's parallel. And Luo breaks with that left-handed flick, finds Goldenberg. Goldenberg looking at his options, very tightly covered by uh, Zaccardi as Shuey, but a little bit of handler game of catch here. Uh, eventually, the disc finds his way into Di Lorenzo's hands. Or joins him on defense. We've got that loose zone, can't quite catch up yet. About 10 seconds left, double team. Sent into the middle of the field. McSherry has it, he finds Mass. McSherry at midfield, he's got some targets downfield. He's got Selleck, Selleck's right on the doorstep. He's got Jimmy Tall, but he throws up a push pass and it's pulled down. Carl Johnson pulls it down. He had better options than that. But with what we hope is a buzzer beater, let's look for the official signal. The Thunderbirds might have just pulled off an end of the quarter goal. When you know, a little left. when that throw went up, I thought maybe the time had expired, but it looks like they signaled that it's a good goal. And that opens up this space for Victor Lua to go up and grab that inside out. Dillard settles the marking on him. Repperman with a bid against Di Lorenzo. Now the disc is on the goal line. Lua, Lua might be able to milk it all the way in, and he does. Schlafer, but then he comes back in. Anson Repperman gets those big arms ahead of Kanaki. Sends it back to John Mass. Selick's got it. Cutting in is Max Shepard, but being hotly pursued by Luke Marks, doing a good job on defense. Now a break opportunity for the Radicals as laying out is Meshnik with a terrific block. He gives it off to Alexander, who's got a hammer, and there's no competition for it. Wilson brings it down. Wow, and what a great play by Meshnik there. Meshnik has been such a critical player for the Madison D-Lines for many, many years. He might be an original player on the Radicals. I'm pretty sure he's played every right. season for them. Finds Selick backwards, and he lays his one up the middle. A beautiful little flip. Out to uh, John Mast, who sees Flint McSherry downfield. Can he milk it all the way in? Probably not. No, the call is a goal. Yeah. And uh, Sherry with a cheeky little spike. And um, a, a really nice break out there, and Selick saw his man and made sure that he could catch it. In Matt, last point, you said. Do the Disc is sent over. Vukovic was on the mark. Now it's Johnson. This one shot up deep. Goldenberg, can he catch up to it? He can. Perfectly thrown disc. So after a lot of handler work, a lot of, uh, of short passes, we see both teams open it up a little. Yeah, great job by Madison getting that goal quickly. You know, one of the things that we would always think about was trying to make it hard on the offense. If they're going to score, at least make them take a lot of throws before they do. And to that end, Wham comes in. 
Settles in on the mark on McSherry. Repperman open out here. And Mast, as he said he might, sends a perfect strike downfield. And Max Shepard is all on his own. Will Jimmy Toll find him? He absolutely does. And the Thunderbirds break out to strike quickly. He's marked by Hansen. Madison moving backwards a little bit, now sent into the break space. Luo climbs the ladder, not for the first time, to pull it down. And then he pops one into the middle. It's chased down by Goldenberg. He sends it behind Kelly, but Kelly, with sure hands, reaches back and gets the equalizer with just a second left in the quarter. He tries to shut down Reppermint. He flips it back to uh, John Mass. Now Thunderbird's getting some space. Max Shepard loves the other side of the field, but nobody giving it to him. He wants that space there. Repperman runs into him instinctively, and before he can even turn, Shepard throws him a bending forehand that finds him, and the Thunderbirds even it up. Great vision by Max Shepard there, seeing Repperman going to the far side uncovered, and also being able to execute. That means the middle's open for uh, Maston. He had a little look there. Meshnik was covering Toll, and he thought better of it, as he usually does. Now, here goes Repperman deep, and Selig pulls the trigger. Wham in the area. That's a big boy. And Repperman jumps up. He touches it. And before Mark can snap it out of his hands, Repperman catches his own rebound for a goal. Wow. Here's Victor Luo streaking, and Alex Thomas right on his heels. And then working very hard on defense is Mikey O'Brien. Lorenzo comes out in front of Zicardi. Zicardi moves in on the mark, forcing him towards the river. This one's put out in space, and how many times has Luo saved these guys? But it looks like there's going to be a foul call. Actually, it looks like maybe an injury. Uh, oh, Luo injury got hurt on out. that. Incredible catch by Luo on that. Yeah, I thought Zicardi working very hard against Lorenzo. Goldenberg, AT. Takes a chance on a bid, doesn't work out. Shuey up the line, back into the middle of the Coolidge. O'Brien joins him. Circling, looks like uh, looks like Pete was picked there, but maybe he was a little bit too far off for them to call it. Now Goldenberg has it, Coolidge streaking across the front. Right on the doorstep now, Gutkowski is trailed. Now it's into the back of the end zone, and it should be brought down cleanly by Shuey. Joined by a, a double team. Uh, and he manages to find uh, Mast, and uh, then Wilson steps in on him. Mast fakes a deep one, and then throws it wide of Jimmy Tull. An uncharacteristic mis mistake, and the O team is going to have to tighten it up here, at least maybe force a timeout. A little lefty floated over the top. Alexander has it, finds Wilson again. He's got room. He thought about it. Instead, he fills to Alexander, and a very easy goal to blaze. Up front, you've got Hansen and Alex Thomas and uh, here's one up into the middle and they do, it's wide open. Now AT has it, Big Papa. What's he gonna do? He's joined by a double team. This isn't his forte, but he pops a hammer over the top into the hands of Hansen and easy peasy. They just threw it to Carl Johnson in the middle of the field. What did you see happen there? Wow, what, what a huge hold for the Thunderbirds there. Uh, you know, it looks like the thrower just kind of airmailed it. Take the open pass, they've been able to get open. Repperman, one of the guys getting open frequently, he fakes a big one um, and then uh, shoots a little hammer over the top and that means selick has got a lot of room and Mass leads him perfectly and we've got Max Shepard operating downfield against Luke's mark. He's got a bid, but Max takes it away from him for a goal and the Thunderbirds start off the quarter with one to get them up 16 to 15. Wow, what a great catch by Shepard there with pressure in his face. Such a critical moment to make that play and secure the goal for Shepard. And sell it. He, he didn't catch it, he didn't catch it, too it, bad. It, it was close, he tried to sell it there, but uh, and, and that he, looked like it was probably down. Probably and, the right call there by the referee crew. Right, and now on the move is Di Lorenzo. Boy, what a squandered opportunity. This one's got a lot of juice behind it. A great bid uh, on the end of it, but the Thunderbirds with an opportunity to break and probably Mikey O'Brien, as you like to say, Dave, would like to have that one back. Well, you know what? I, the thing that he is an able handler, but he also anchors the D team. So, you know, uh, not having John Mast is, is going gonna, is gonna to make an impact. And immediately it does, doesn't it, right? You talked about that, that uh, chemistry between McSherry and Mast. This one goes up. Zaccardi's made a couple of blocks, and he makes another one. And I hope there's not a call because I don't think anything but incidental contact after yeah. Zaccardi makes the Um, Max Shepard starts, stops, catches it. He's got a deep cutter. He throws it deep. Meshnik there. Will it get beyond him? If it does, it's tolls. It doesn't. And now back off to the races in the other direction. Meshnik playing catch with Blaze. Finds Luo in the middle. 
Thunderbirds attenuated, have to regroup, get on defense. Wilson has it. Shepard drifting in on the mark. Defense. Luo tired, you can see. And he looks and sends one deep. Reprimand's back there. This one should not be caught for a goal, but it is. We said that Wham is a big dude, and he is. Hoping for a call back here is uh, Clint McSherry. Luo grabbing his shorts. Nothing's going to happen good for the Thunderbirds here. Uh, the uh, Radicals go ahead, 17-16. Yeah, and the, the Thunderbirds need to think about what type of line to put on. Mark. A lot of traffic in front. Garlock sends it across to the more open side of the field. Di Lorenzo is there. Alex Thomas settles in on uh, Schlafer. A bid, but to no avail. More of a stumble. Goldenberg has it. Schlafer going at the field. Alex Thomas sticks with him. It's a blade, and it is stopped by Shepard. Wow, that was... Going to give it to him. They had to reset it. The, the, the field is, it's not the middle of that box. Shepard has an open cutter in front of him, but he ended up looking him off and sends a blade to the back, and Thomas handles it. So now we are set up for a final 45 seconds that will be something to see. Great composure by the Thunderbirds getting that. Down, though, a veteran player. A lot of experience on the field for both teams right now. Except for Mikey O'Brien guarding that deep space. There's Luo, and he can't gather it in, David, with 27 seconds left, motioning Thomas into the end zone. Oh, but we've got an injury, and that has to stop the clock. It should stop at 27. Luo, the second time he had to lay out to try to catch a disc, this time when he bobbled, and uh, it looks like he's having a He's got to send it out to Mast, and he's got to do something quick. The crowd counting it off. Mast puts it up. It's going to be Max Shepard back there against everybody, and he comes down with it! And he comes down with it! John Mass knew who he had back there, and with nothing left on the clock, Max Shepard gets to line up his jump. It was perfectly placed, and the Thunderbirds win the game 18-17. How do you like that? What an incredible play by Max Shepard there. You could see him lining it up as soon as the pass went up. He was getting ready to be able to be in a position to receive that pass. Took the perfect jump and elevated over all of the Madison players to make an incredible buzzer beating play. How many times have we seen him do that, David, but never in such a timely way. And credit to Jonathan Mass too. The Thunderbirds were forced to play catch among the handlers, repositioning the disc. John Mass realized he was out of time. He feathered the disc up to exactly the guy on the field that you want making that play. As you you said, David, he's not the tallest, but my goodness, he played it right there.